because in Ukraine, a lot of the dirty work was done in... Mm -mm -mm. I won, I won, I won! That sun is terrible. Oh, I don't need heat. Whew. Thumbs up the live, thumbs up the live, thumbs up the live. All right. Oh, I can't see. Uh, I won, I won, I won, I won, I won, I won, I won. What did I win? I won my class back. I did. All those prayers that were sent my way and my oh my god you <laughs> i wonder if i'm ever okay i will go i wonder if i'm ever gonna feel rested doesn't matter i won i um i gave them no choice today i set up that seating chart and I took out their, uh, I got their um, journals, laid them out where their seating chart, where they were supposed to sit, and those that didn't leave their journal in the room as requested, I just got a note card and put it there with a the number, whatever number table it was, and the anger was immediate and short-lived because every kid that really struggles in that class is sitting next to somebody who doesn't and the kindness I saw in my students today when we were doing well first of all oh, the kindness I saw was just was incredible I had a, I had a couple kids decide that they were going to refuse to um, get their education today because they were mad at me I said well you can either sit there or you can find someplace else to be because this is your option so you have two options you can either sit here surrounded by people who care about you or you can go find someplace else to be and you know do what you want you want to do what you want, you do what you want. However, in here we're learning. It, the, the two that were, were struggling with, with uh, having a new place, the two that were struggling, they, they refused to do work, but they at least sat there and watched without disturbing anyone. Now, they didn't have their phones, they didn't have their iPads, they literally thought that by sitting there with their arms crossed that that was going to offend me somehow. And uh, <laughs> they at least listened. So literally uh, of the entire class, there were two kids that were not working, but they weren't doing what they were doing yesterday, which was chaos. So we didn't have chaos today and we did fun things and I gave them a choice. So first thing we did was our writing uh, prompt and kids who struggle with motivation, when they were sitting at the table with those the more motivated kids, you wouldn't believe how they, I mean, there was almost a look of confusion on their face, right? Like. They're, they're actually doing the work and then they did it too. It's kind of like mass um, mob mentality. When everybody's doing something, everybody everybody's gonna do it. So they and even the two who were kind of being um, difficult <coughs> uh, who didn't who were mad about their seats. Um, even they uh, were, were writing, doing their writing. And then after their writing, they had all forgotten. So it was kind of like a, a, a surprise or a treat. We went up to the uh, media center as a whole and we checked out new books. 
or renewed the ones we had. And um, I helped some kids choose books and sh showed them how the library worked. And I got the librarian to come and help me help them. And they were very responsive to her. Um, it was like I had a new class today, but I think it really, placement, where you put kids in a room, now that I know them, I can place them better. I had placed them um, kind of, not randomly, but I knew these and these two couldn't be together, but I didn't know that they really couldn't sit next to so-and-so or so-and-so. So it's been three weeks and now, and yesterday was just telling, just telling. So I got that, I, that seating chart is good and it's solid and they're, you know, if they, if they choose not to sit there, they can choose to be someplace else. So anyway, we went to the media center, they got their books, they were, they were, they were a little bit confused still, but happy. And so they all came back in and they sat down, um, quietly in their seats and like now what are we gonna do I mean it was like the first day of school all over again and I said uh, so I'm gonna give you you guys I want to give you a choice we can either read our new books for the next 15 minutes or if you want to the story we started working yesterday uh, abnormal. It's just a. It's a, a, a writing by a Minnesota teen. Um, abnormal. I can read that, and you follow along, and you can think about the plot line and the plot triangle, and how you would fill that out. We're not going to fill it out until tomorrow, but I can read it to you today. What What do you want to do? And the cutest thing happened about six kids from different parts of the room, boys and girls said, could you please read to me? Could you just please read to us? I said, you want me to read? And then everybody's like, yes. I said, well, there's some rules with that. You gotta read along. And when I say flip the page, because I know some of them can't, uh, there's a couple kids who are, are learning to read still. So they may not be able to, they can hear it, but they may not be following along. So I said, so when I say flip the page, you have to turn the page. Um, and then I would like for, I would like people to follow along with their finger just on the page so I can see that you know where we are. There were a couple that had no idea. But there were um, mo a majority who were actually, you know, on reading along, you know, even my kid who's a beginning reader was doing that, tracking the words. So it didn't feel like the dumb class today, like uh, the girl was saying yesterday. It's not the dumb class. It's a class with needs. So um, there are no tears here today. There's just a hallelujah. I I did it. I did it. My co-teacher was very helpful because I did not approach those children who were struggling to, to follow the rules. I did not approach them. She approached them. Um, I, I read some of um, Elizabeth, who is the bee lady. I read some of her her notes to me and um, what makes sense is when my students are struggling with behavior that she approached them and work with them on that on that and I continue to teach the class which is what I did now I was a little bit more of a I'm gonna say it hard ass than I have been I will I, I was I was much more of a hard ass than I had been um, I was I I was like no joke you know if you if you're not doing what we're doing then you need to find someplace else to be you know one girl got up and walked out and then knocked on the door can I come back in I said if you're gonna do what we're doing yes you can come back in went back oh somebody is smoking weed and it's coming right through my vents oh 
It's the car in front. Oh, see now? I think smoking weed and driving is bad. I think it's as bad or worse than, well, no, I think it's as bad as drinking and driving. You're not in your right mind. Why? And so now I don't want to get in front of this guy. That's for sure. And he's driving like a turtle because he's high. Anyway. Oh, God. Um, so I feel, I feel like I was successful. I mean, it really, you guys, it really, 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 really helped to be able to talk about it, reflect on it with you yesterday and let it out. It really, that felt really good. And I, I want to thank you again. Um, if you weren't here yesterday, you can go back and look at the vlog. It says, uh, a teacher cried today was the last tagline. Because I did. I, I cried after my class. I cried with my principal. And I was talking about it with you guys. And I cried. But I was, I, I have to admit, hi, I don't know you, but you just spit and that was gross. little kid waving at me, but he had just gone. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> I have in the past not tried not to let, if I, you know, if I got upset, I had tried to, um, just be stoic about it, but there's no learning in that. If you don't reflect and in that reflection, you may cry, you may be sad, you may be, if you don't reflect and you just are stoic and I'm gonna go and do this with, without really, um, oh, the people behind me think I'm crazy. But, you know, you're doing this without taking time to step back and find out, could I have done better? Was there a, you know, what, what should I do? What are the next steps? If you don't reflect, then you're going to have the same problem the next day. So that was, it's a blessing that I have my YouTube channel because this is a perfect opportunity. Well, you're going to tell me the truth. Bee Lady certainly is. Elizabeth is going to tell the truth out loud, 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 loud. And I need it, you know, because... Everybody needs sometimes to depend on a community of, of thinkers whom I surround myself with, a community of thinkers, um, to help them walk through a situation because when you're in it, when I was in it yesterday and this craziness was happening in my classroom, now, interestingly, the the um, the supervisor, the the special ed supervisor, was in my class yesterday, and she thought it was great, and I was just floored by the kids' behavior. She said they were all engaged. They were all. I said, but if it takes all of my energy, all of my planning time makes me lose sleep at night, there's something wrong. I, I told her about the one good co-teaching um, moment that my co-teacher and I had. I'm still like excited about that. And I said, that's what the kids deserve. The kids don't, don't deserve a teacher who didn't know that she was going to do this. The kids don't deserve, I don't deserve this. My co-teacher doesn't deserve this. This is a SHIT show. You may think it went well, but then you don't know what my classes look like. So today, she should have been in there and she would have told me that went really well because she would have known that her expectations were too low. And that's what I'm wondering. What are, what's the difference between my expectations and other teachers' expectations with students uh, 
darn it. Am I still buffering or am, am I back? I think I'm back. So I expect that we're going to get work done. So you guys, you know I'm on the west side. That means I'm going to buffer. Um, I expect that we're going to get some work done. I expect that we will do it in a peaceful manner. I expect that we will be kind to one another. I expect we will follow school rules. And I expect you to hold me accountable to all, all of that. But if I'm letting you jump off or pop off, I'm not doing my job. So. Got a little fire under my butt right now. Thought it was great is when I was like, are my expectations too high? Too high. My students are capable. They are ca Oh, now yesterday I was, <laughs> yesterday I was so sad, I was crying, I was like upset, I was frustrated. Today I'm, I've got fire under my butt and I recognize that my students are awesome. They just need, they need to know the rules, they need to know know the they need to know I think they were testing the boundaries yesterday and today they knew the boundaries they had crossed those boundaries and I was still kind of course I was still kind but no I'm not, not taking any current now several times now, I know you know there are circumstances of course there are circumstances. I know, um, you know, kids, a lot of kids from my school don't know what what's going to, they don't have a predictable home life. Or if it is predictable, it's not predi predictable in a good way. So, you know, there, sometimes it's really hard to cope with that. Sometimes it's really hard to cope. And when you're a 14-year-old trying to cope with, with whatever is going on at home and you don't know that you could talk to people or you don't trust anybody or you don't, you, you bring that behavior into class with you. And honestly, the two kids that didn't like the seating chart, they could have had a really bad night. They could have had a really bad morning. But they sat there. They got into their seats. They crossed their arms and refused to do some of the work, but so maybe tomorrow they'll, they'll move themselves into a space where, you know, this is okay. All right. How many do I have? Three, two? <laughs> Who did I have? Gosh, I have, there is glaring light coming from here. Who is it? Who is it? Am I still, am I even here? I can't get the chat. What if I do that? Nope. Cancel. What's that? Oh. I guess I'm still, you know what? I, um, I don't know what's going on. I can't see the chat. You guys are all talking and I can't, I see it, pictures of me. And that's not fun. What's that do? That turns it around. We don't want to see that. Okay, what's this do? Share, micro, cancel. The chat disappeared. What if I do this? Okay, no. Okay. You guys, I think I'm going to end. Because I can't see any chat. And I don't know how to change it. I know other, I don't know what that is. There's this thing um, with all my, like it's changing the color. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. I will talk to you later. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll be able to see the chat when I get inside.